Explore the carpets from the Near and Middle East and discover how for centuries they've had a cultural influence in Europe. Still to this day, they decorate houses and palaces across Europe as coveted collector's items. As a status symbol, they show the wealth and worldliness of their owners, in addition to their appreciation for the arts. And to this day, they inspire contemporary designers and artists. But what is it that makes the Europeans so fascinated by the Oriental carpet? More than 2,300 years ago, the oldest still completely preserved carpet was made. It comes from a royal tomb in Central Asia. The design with the horsemen is very finely worked, and still the mystery is unresolved where and by whom was it made. From the early 13th century, merchants traded oriental knotted rugs. They took them by sea to Italy, and their prestige is depicted in Italian paintings of the 13th century. They've since spread throughout Europe, and precious carpets were not only to be found in church treasures, but also in imperial and royal palaces. Originally, carpets were made by nomads, but in the 16th century, the rulers of the Ottoman Empire and Persia founded professional court carpet mills. There the weavers made far more extravagant carpets, in which they incorporated silk, gold or silver threads. The templates for the new complex motifs and designs were supplied by local court artists. These precious works of art became a lucrative commodity for the European market and treasured gifts. In the 17th century, the East Indian trading companies imported carpets via India on a large scale, especially to the Netherlands. Generally, carpets became more affordable, and wealthy merchants could now purchase this luxury item. To this day, the knotted carpet stands for comfort, tradition, longevity, and beauty. Carpets are used to create a space in the room and to enhance it at the same time. As a red carpet, it assigns particular importance to people and raises expectations. As a prayer rug, it offers a sanctified retreat. And in stories of the flying carpet, they have inspired artists and children's imaginations for generations. They are everyday objects and works of art alike, and are a tangible and alluring demonstration of the shared history and experience of Europe and the Near and Middle East. <laughs>